We're here at the, our WAVE laboratory at the Civil Engineering Department at, uh, at Aalborg University. And uh, we've been working in the field of testing of WAVE energy devices over the past decade or so and been testing lots of different devices. And uh, now last year and this year we've been conducting tests on, uh, on the Langley on two different uh, models of the device. And um, the benefits of this type of, of a device is that you have uh, the ability of moving the device to an offshore location where you have a good wave climate. It's a simple structure uh, with a high conversion efficiency. Uh, you, you'll not get into end stop problems uh, with the power takeoff. Um, because once, if you have very big forces on the flaps, they will, you can say, go down towards a horizontal position and then the, the force will uh, decay. And then it will be naturally uh, going up again. So uh, uh, it seems that there's no need for, you can say, emergency, um, emergency control in case of, of really severe storm events. You can rather easily, you can say, decide what is from a performance point of view, the optimal uh, size of the structure for a given uh, wave condition, because uh, when you when you have a structure which corresponds to half a wavelength between the two paddles or the two flaps, then you get the maximum uh, performance. Mm -hmm. If we look at, at at the device here, where we can see that at, at say the peak of, of the performance. We are around about uh, these 35 percent of efficiency in terms of the amount of power that is reaching the width of the device, and uh, that's quite good. I mean, that's it's not on unseen before, uh, but it's in the good end of, of uh, what we would uh, would expect.